Hello my model building chums and welcome back to the Yorkshire Modeler. We are on issue 17 of Battleship Bismarck and as Dwayne The Rock Johnson would say, FINALLY! We get some things to do with the circuit board. So yeah, we're starting to work on some of the electrics. I've been gagging for this bit for ages. Um, all the wires that are on the bottom of the deck, all these bits here and here and everything, um, we are linking up into the circuit board that we get um, in this week's issue. Um, we do get um, circuit board, PB screws, um, so I'll put the camera down onto the workbench and I'll show you what we get with issue 17. So issue 17, um, like I say, we get the um, circuit board and a cable tie, and then we get four PB screws. So we've obviously had those ones before. Um, just shows you actually fitting the circuit board, and that goes um, kind of on top of the anchor gearbox, um, and then just attaching all the cables as they come. So everything is connected to that circuit board. Um, we get um, the building of the Bismarck. Just a few images and Citadel armor, things like that. Um, and then right at the back, same as always, we've got the parts for next week, which I'll go through that in a bit with you. So these are the parts we get with issue 17. Um, the parts themselves, we get the gearbox itself, uh, gearbox, sorry, circuit board itself, which has got um, numbers on them. So you've got gearbox, uh, circuit board A just there, and then you've got one, two, three, um, four, five, six, seven, eight um, on there with a little um, hook, that little hook just there. Um, let me turn this light around a little bit for you. Um, in fact, I'll turn that off because it's a little bit bright. Um, that little um, kind of peg just there, that's for the um, wires to all sit through so it's all nice and um, organised. Then we get a cable tie for tying up some of the cables when they're in here and then you get your PB screws as well, which I'll just get these opened up. So. these down here so um, fitting ooh, bring these in so screwdriver and then a pot for the extra screws because there is an extra um, screw for this um, so take the circuit board box 17.1 and check how it fits on the gearbox housing 7.1 uh, lower part 17.1 in place and the housing is indicated and have three PB screws ready. So, the gearbox needs to sit there and then this goes with the two big pegs, so that one there and that one there at the back and it just slots in like that. Uh, when the circuit board box 17.1 is in the correct position, the screw holes will align with the screw sockets on 7.1. Fix the circuit board 17.1 to the gearbox housing 7.1 using three PB screws. Support the deck carefully as you screw it in place. So, let's get these screws. And then, So that's, I'm not doing these up all the way. Same as I've said before, what best thing to do, or what I find the best thing to do, is to kind of get them set in the hole. And then if you need to, um, just leave them a little bit loose because then you're not going to over tighten it and then have to kind of loosen it up on the next, uh, when you're doing the next screw, if the next screw doesn't quite line up properly. And then same on the last one. And then once all three are in, just tighten the others, tighten them all up so they sit 
nice and tight on there like that. So, put this lamp back on. I need to get better lighting in here so it's not dazzling you when it's on. There we go. So, one screw goes in there, one screw goes in there, and another screw, oops, where is it? There it is, goes in just there. Now that's all of the um, circuit board attached. So next part is the anchor cables. Oh, hang on, my anchors are falling off. So I've just got those masking taped on as you've seen from previous videos. Um, so take the cable from the anchor motor, which is this one here, uh, and untie the wire if you've not already done so. I did that a couple of weeks ago. Um, so, that's all on there, Brill. I need to put some more hot glue on there, so I'll have to do that in a minute. My um, anchor thing there has come a bit loose. It looks like the hot glue's um, come away, so I'll put a bit more hot glue on there um, in a minute. I'll just get these attached first. Um, so feed the cable from the anchor motor set uh, 9.6 through the eyelet on the circuit board, which is that bit just there. Can you see that? Just there. That's better. There you go. So you feed this wire from the circuit board, for the anchors through there, like that. So that's all gone through that little hole. Um, indicated by the red arrow. Uh, turn the upper deck around so that you can see the cable ports 1, 2 and 3 on the side of the circuit board box 17.1. Plug the anchor motor cable fully into port 2. So, on this side here, you've got where the A is, you've got 1, 2, 3. So this goes into the hole for number 2. So, it's a little bit fiddly, this. So, that's one, just there. Then you've got two and three. So, if I just zoom you out a little bit. Pull it through nice and tight. And then just plug it in. Oh, crap. Into... Number two, uh, like that. So that's all in on that one. Um, with no and make sure that's fitted with the notches facing downwards as well. And then uh, step four on part two just says, this photo shows the cable fitted into port two uh, on the circuit box. Um, the next step is to fit the cable from switch 9.7. Um, which is this one, so the really short one into the actual um, gearbox itself for the anchors. Um, and that goes into port three. So this one, it was in exactly the same, and you just push it in, he says, until it clips into place. There we go, that's in. There we go, that's better. So that's in. Um, then it's connecting the turret cables. Um, so then it's the ports on this side, so the five, six, seven, and eight. Um, identify the cable from motor 2.12, which is the black and white one. Uh, sorry, black and red one. Not black and white. I'm not colorblind, really. Um, feed the cable from the motor through the large eyelet. So that's the eyelet just on the desk, just on the deck. Sorry, just there. So you move that through there, um, and then plug it into port six of the circuit board bo uh, box. Make sure the notches are facing downwards. So if I just Turn this round to show you. So, long red cable 
and then it just goes straight into this second port just there. Couldn't have made this more fiddly if they'd have tried, I don't think. But that's in. Um, now take the cable from the elevation motor, um, which I haven't untied. So I'll just untie that. There we go, so that's off. So elevation motor that we fitted uh, last week, so this one just here. Um, that one um, goes around the gearbox as shown in the photo, so it comes round that way. So cable's there, starts there. You need to hook this round the back of the gearbox, like that. Just turn the page on the instructions. Uh, thread it th through the large eyelet on the underside of the upper deck. So once it's round that side, you push it through the eyelet. And then once it's through there, pull it secure. And then that one goes into port eight, which is the one at the very, very far end. Ooh, can't see it there. So it's this one right here. So plug that into there. There we go, that's in. So that's all in and attached onto that one. Uh, finally take the cable for the gun turret motor 14, so that's this one here, the really long one, multicoloured um, multi one. Thread it through the eyelet, which I did um, last week, the week before, and then pull it so it's reasonably tight. And then this one goes into port seven, which is just in between those two. So just this one here. Plug that into that one. Right, these are difficult to get in, so just take your time. It's because of how they've been positioned. Oh, Christ. There we go. That's it. Yeah, that's in. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Right, that's in. Brill. So, that one's all in. And take the cable tie and wrap it round these two. So, the cable tie, which we've also got in this issue, wrap it round the two uh, black and red wires. And then tighten it up. It's not going to go that way, isn't it? that way so let's put that into there all the way around that's better and then tighten it up as tight as you can but in the instructions it tells you to try and get this cable tie as close as you can to lining up with these two screws there and there. So I've just moved mine around a little bit and then do it as tight as you can. So 
that's all on tightened up there and then just tells you to cut it off as close as you can to that little edge which I'll just do in a second but that's everything for this issue attached so we've got two on this side three wires on this side and that's all of the uh, four deck electrics wired up So that's it then for issue 17. With issue 18, we'll be getting um, a tester box and cable are supplied together with a circuit board cable that will be used at a later stage. So we're getting into some of the electrics now um, before we start moving further back with the hull um, and the deck and everything. Um, obviously the deck, we can't go any further back until we've got the next section of the hull because otherwise it'll just be sat like that which ain't ideal. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's all sorted for now. Um, next week will be up, same as normal, on uh, Thursday, that'll be issue 18. Um, I am looking, I've said this before, but I am looking at bringing some other modeling things to the channel. Um, we've got some of the Doctors, for any fans of Doctor Who out there. Um, these are some of the Warlord Games miniatures, um, which I got bought for Christmas, just gone by my uh, brother and sister-in-law um, so we've got Matt Smith 11th Doctor whoops sorry a bit close we've got Peter Davison so the 5th Doctor and then we've got Peter Capaldi the 12th Doctor um, so I'm hopefully getting those painted up as you can see the geek wall behind me is um, starting to look a bit better now we've not just got the autographs on the wall here We've also got the um, Legend of Zelda um, Skyward Sword map just there. Then we've got the uh, Game of Thrones busts up at the top there. So they're the paper cut out ones um, that you just build yourself. And then I've also got just here, just off camera, you can see the, just the corner of it there um, is a map of Westeros and the three cities that came with the box set of the um, uh, Game of Thrones books. Um, the Ice and Fire book, should I call them. Um, I am in the process of write, rewriting Series 8. So if there's anyone out there that's a fan of Game of Thrones, um, I know a lot of people were a little bit peeved about how the series ended. Um, I am doing my best rewrite of it, um, just to try and bring in some things from other series, um, you know, um, just to try and make it a bit more geeky. And I'm going to be putting that on the channel as a separate, um, like a separate, playlist if you like um, but until next thursday with battleship bismarck happy modeling guys and stay tuned for um extra content coming on the channel see you soon